Hello everybody and welcome to my new favorite place on Vervain's Arcadia. Look at this, and this is only the tip of the iceberg, kind of literally. Um, yeah. I, I need some goats. We need some goats. We're going to start selling goat horns because the store with goat horns has been uh, closed. And so we need to find some of these guys. And we'll take them home to like our... Uh, our our current base but before we do that we do have some winners for the evil witch hunt evil witch powder hunt and uh we should go distribute those prizes you were third yes you get a beacon here's a beacon take a beacon <laughs> sean gets a diamond block and a little message saying thanks for cleaning up the evil witch powder and nola gets two nola gets a beacon and a diamond block she found the uh two that were uh remaining after the original hunt so she oh, found yeah, she those found. two and wes gets a beacon and lou gets half a stack of each color frog light <laughs> okay and we're gonna steal the signs and leave one for derek <laughs> oh just look at this place i cannot express to you how much I love this area. I found this, along with Amy, uh, a little while ago. Uh, I don't know, a week ago, maybe. I was looking for, like, er an area that would have goats that's fairly close to my current base. And we found a little bit of this on the Dine map, but loaded more in. And will you look at this place? It's incredible! I love it so much. So now we have a, oh gosh. Oh no, 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 no. Nope, I don't wanna, I don't wanna do this. Please and thank you, okay. Okay. Leather boots it is. This is why I keep these on me. Okay. Goodness. Oh wait, can I get my, thank you. Okay, well this is good to know. Can I get out? I can. Cool. Yay. Oh my gosh. Ridiculous. But here's the thing. After seeing this absolutely gorgeous scenery, I kind of want to live here, you know? And our current base is very gritty Alaska. Like, very realism. Very, very much real life. And I've wanted to do some fantasy things. And I feel like this is the perfect place to build up some Alaska fairy tale, uh, an Alaska fairy tale base. One thing that I'd like to do pretty quickly in this area is actually start some mega farms. But I don't want to do it up on the mountains, you know? That, that's a little much. The one thing I want to find out here is an ocean monument. Because I'd like a guardian farm. I think that we would then base our whole uh, farming area, mega farming area around that. There it is! There's one! Okay! Now, the reason that I kind of am going into, like, mega farm mode now, before my, like, little Alaska base is fully finished, which we'll work on that quite a lot today, don't worry, um, but I need a shulker farm, like, really badly, and Amy has asked if she can, like, go in and, and help me with a shulker farm so that she doesn't have to go end raiding every time she needs stock for her shop, <laughs> which is fair. Hi, buddy. Hello. Hi. You come with me? Are you walking on powdered snow? I didn't know you could do that. Oh! Our portal ended up coming right out by the, the igloo. Oh, they can't walk through the powdered snow. That's a problem. I think, I think that they're... Oh, gosh. I lost them all. No! They're dying! Guys, no. No. No, my poor goats. 
Oh, this is my fault. Guys, there's something about me and mobs in this game. Alright, let's... Oh, you blah yourself. Hey, buddy. As soon as I said I can't find more goats... I found one. Hi, bud. Okay. Now there's three of you, and I need you to all go through the portal. There we go. ba doo ba doo ba doo ba doo we go shadoop. Shadoop, shadoop, shadoop. Shadoop, shadoop. Through the portal he goes. And shadoop. Shadoop, shadoop. Boop, boop. Yay! Okay. Hi, guys. Hello. Oh, my goodness. So many of you. Come on, let's go. And once again, we're heading across another roof. Pulling along some lovely neutral mobs. <laughs> And there we go. We have a home for our goats. And Amy was watching me work on this earlier and was like, this is shaping up like an oval. You should make it like a hockey arena or something. So we have a little bit of like arena seating in the back. And if we fly over here, the goats will load in for one thing. <laughs> um, But we have like, you know, entry into the actual arena seating. And we also have a little bit of a staff entrance over here. I'm standing still now. Oh, there we go. Badoom. Not fast enough. Dang it. Okay. Well, let's make some babies while we're hanging out here. Oh, they have little munchy sounds. <gasps> that makes me happy. <gasps> Look at the baby. Look at the baby. Oh my gosh. Ow! Road. Head down and here we go. There we go. We got our first horn. And head down and there he goes. Yes. And another horn from another goat. Very cool. Another one. Here he comes. Okay. So I just need to move out of the way when I see his head come down, basically. All right. Well, we're already getting a collection of horns here. Let's try them out. What have we got? And a fourth one. I think I have one from each of these guys now. Oh, that's such a good one. And let's see. This one. Oh, we've got two really good ones. What about this? Ooh, this is also a good one. Ow. Ponder, sing, and feel. Cool. So those are what we have so far. And... Oh, the little baby. That was so funny. <laughs> if you didn't know, goats are my favorite IRL animal. And they do that a lot. Uh, <laughs> and I used to have and also care for other people's goats in high school, basically. And it, they're my favorite. I love them so much. I just... Ah, this makes my heart happy. The, all the little sounds. It's, it's like home. Well, I think I have enough goats now. Yeah, I spent a little bit of time being busy with the goatses and breeding them up and collecting horns. And I now have over a shulker box of each of the normal types of goat horns. And then we also have, as you can hear over in here, our screaming goats. And there's so many of them. Alrighty. That means that we can go ahead and stock up our goat horn shop, which is uh, not necessarily going to be strictly goat horns and is called Frozen Farmlands and is part of the unicorn industries. Alrighty. So the first stock of Frozen Farmlands is in place and ready to go. And I have a couple of other things that I'll probably end up stocking in here as well. So, um, I got a little distracted. And, well, this thing happened. I, uh, made a big ol' bamboo and kelp and sugar cane farm. And it's far from perfect. And certainly not lossless. And also I ended up making the actual, like, area too wide and so we have you know really tall spots um but you know 
What I mostly needed was bamboo anyways, because uh, we're going to need some scaffolding soon. So, you know what? I'm getting so much bamboo from this, I'm quite happy. Now, we're going to go ahead and stick uh, some bamboo into this place. Um, and we're going to go at two diamonds, a or uh, two stacks per diamond. Anyways, the reason we need all of this bamboo is because I desperately need a shulker farm. And that's going to take a lot of scaffolding. Oh, yeah. So this was kind of... I, I slapped this together. Oops. That's not good. Yeah, and I slapped this together uh, kind of inspired by... A farm Izuma was trying to work on in season 9 of Hermitcraft. Yeah. I don't know how successfully I, I've accomplished it. I know I know several things that can be improved, and some of them I will do, some of them, like, you know, reducing the size of all of this, not so much. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Thank you, hobo. <laughs> oh my gosh. I told hobo I have 15 totems. The hobo goes, hmm. Okay, folks, so the reason Hobo dropped off a totem is, and the reason I have diamond armor on is because we're going on an adventure to the deep dark. And I was going to go check under the mountains that we got the goats from, and I'll do that eventually. But Nola is actually currently exploring some deep dark and maybe even an ancient city, it sounds like. So, we're going to head over to her. And she needs some wool, so she's... She's, uh, gonna appreciate the backup, hope, hopefully. <laughs> I'm gonna hit her, like, perfectly with this staircase. Oh, there's our first skulk. Oh, good God. Uh, we will go ahead and, uh, pick up... <laughs> pick up some, some skulk while we're here. Okay. Got a little bit of Optifine. Oh, those are shriekers. Those are shriekers. Okay, Nola said a little bit west. Yay! Okay. Oh, there's a big old ancient city. I've never seen this before. So, oh, so cool. All right, we're gonna mostly just step where Nola said. Nola, the the words. We're gonna mostly step where Nola steps. I'm so nervous about this, guys. I'm here in an ancient city. <laughs> Nola's so confident, just like running around, grabbing things. I'm over here like I'm dying. Uh, see, this is the thing, too. Nola's, got, Nola's already cleared a bunch of this out. I, in my own, am going to have to do that. Honestly, I'm kind of here to just look at the moment. I was going to go do my own exploring, but honestly, I am here to learn. Learn from the professionals. We're going to pop up and around and see if there's any other shriekers. I walked on top of a sensor because I'm dumb. Um, okay. So that appears to be the nearest shrieker. Okay. We're going to open it. Oh, we made it, guys. And that smite one, so that sucks. And a hoe with efficiency five and an echo shard. I think the I think those are the important things. I don't need glow berries particularly. Okay. Ooh, we got a music disc. 
and an efficiency five book, which honestly isn't all that bad. And <gasps> that's an enchanted golden apple, you guys. Um, we're going to exchange your deep slate for that. <laughs> Cats! Enchanted golden apple. This first. Oh my gosh. I'm. Oh my gosh. All right. All right. Let's continue on. This is <laughs> This is so nerve-wracking, but uh also really fun. I do not remember from whence from whence I came. We all know that I am the actual worst when it comes to navigation in video games. All of these areas are starting to look very much the same. All around me are familiar faces, worn out places, worn out places. <laughs> uh, Nola just sent in the chat, I love that canon redstone tutorial is literally in the hardest place, like why? Yeah, yeah. Six god apples and redstone tutorial, that is gonna be the name of this uh, episode now. That's what that's gonna be. <laughs> Thanks, Noah. <laughs> oh, gosh. There's a note block trap. That's very good to know. This is all very helpful and informative. Uh, anyways, Nola said go for it to try to get the shrieker that's in the ice room. Um, I think what we're gonna do is set these like this. Badoop. All right, that's the second strike. <laughs> I have no idea where the heck I am, but I can hear him. Okay, we're gonna hold very, very still. Very, very still. Oh my god. Okay, I am way above. Uh, okay, okay. Can we see him? Is the next question. I am shaking so bad, because it was in the ice. <laughs> oh. Dude, I am tasting metal, guys. Oh my gosh. There he is. There he is. That's the warden. All right, we're going to sneak over here and reply to Nola. It's sheer luck that I ended up on this ridge. Well, that's my first warden, guys, right there, that little buddy. I taste metal. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Okay, we're back. That was very unfortunate timing for my internet to just completely go out. Um. You know, I'm not sure how to get out from here. I suppose we can build around a little bit. We're up at the portal, actually. All right, well, you know, adventures are fun, but I do love getting back home. Let's pull out, oh, we have so many things. And Nola gave us a cat as well as a 13, which is what we picked up. And I got some disc fragments and echo shards and things and the golden apples. <laughs> I, I think I think one of those I think one of those has to go in my memories box. We won't rename it. Um but we're just gonna I feel like that's important. And then the other one's gonna go into our valuables. Okay. That was an adventure, and I think it's time to sit and listen to our music discs. 
Maybe not 13. I already know what 13 sounds like, and I know I don't like it. That was fun, but I think I've had quite enough adventure for the moment. I think I think it's time to do some building. So what we're working on today is going to be our big ice projects. One is going to have literal ice, and that's going to be the ice rink here. Um, I'm really excited for that. And we, we we have a coffee shop right there. I thought about making like a warming tent, um, cause uh, so in Alaska we have indoor ice rinks. Um, but we also have a lot of, like, outdoor ice rinks that happen, and, uh, other types of, like, okay, okay, okay. So we have, uh, ice carving contest that happens, um, actually in the two towns that are, like, in the area that I'm from, um, which are, like, very small. One has 30,000 people and one has, like, 5,000 people, um... But they both have uh, ice carving contests. Beautiful statues. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, and they'll have, like, warming tents at those things with, like, space heaters inside and hot dogs and hot chocolate and all sorts of things. I uh, broke a tooth once from being outside in the cold and then immediately drinking hot chocolate. It was great. <laughs> um, so I thought about building something like that. Um... But I think with the coffee shop next door, like, I feel like that, that gets, like, that, that's, that works. It, it serves the same function. That's what I was trying to say. Um, anyways, we'll also be adding quite a bit of snow to the area. Probably not a road yet because I want to get the buildings, uh, for the villagers to be housed in finished so that we can take them along the rail line and be done with it before I put a road in. But the other thing we're gonna do is over in this area where it starts dipping down a bit, we're gonna kind of build up either side um, and turn this into a lake with the foggy glass effect and all of that. Um, so it's gonna kind of like, we're gonna slope up this area to kind of transition over to this lower area, I suppose. Um, and then our lake is going to be in here. And then over in this area, it kind of like naturally builds up already. And we might add a little bit more. I think I'm going to give it a little bit of a rocky border uh, in the terrain building, the terraforming. But yeah, that's my plan for this area. And well, I should probably stop putting it off and actually get to it. I'll bring you back, I think. Okay, that's cool. It's not perfect, I think, uh, because the frog lights have, like, the, you know, slightly darkened edges. It's not great. I wonder if, like, yellow frog lights would have been better. Um, I'm also kind of, I think part, I think because the glass is such a light color, it's not ideal. I wonder what, like, putting a layer or two of, like, dark blue or just, you know, blue glass would be like, I don't know. But I, I love this effect already. It's really cool. I think I'll keep playing around with it bit by bit, but I've done more than enough for today. I really learned that I, I need a, I needed a beacon with like haste and jump boost. I think. <laughs> I think the rest of what I'm going to do with this area for now is just adding um, some snow and maybe a tree. I feel like it's been like such a crazy episode. There's been so much. I feel like I've done a lot, like accomplished a lot as well as just like, you know, faced the warden for the first time, which was absolutely terrifying. I, ugh, I'm still not over that. And like, we, we still need to go looking for our own deep dark because I, desperately want swift sneak oh no that's unfortunate timing anyways let's take one last quick little look at this area that we've got here with the snow coming in i'm gonna put string on this i think because it's a 
a purely decorative piece. So I think we're going to put string on it so that we don't have to deal with the snow. But we have our wonderful, wonderful um, foggy lake. I love it, especially from a little bit more of a distance. It's just absolutely magical, which is exactly what I wanted it to be. And our cute ice rink, and we're starting to fill in this area with snow. Um, I am being a little bit sparing with how much snow I add, just so that I can, like, lay out the path without having to take down too much snow. Now I'm going to hunker down for a cup of coffee in here real quick. Um, but I had a weird thing happen. And apparently it's not as weird as I thought it was. But basically, I was mildly AFK in here. Um, and all of a sudden got a zombie horde in on me, and I, uh, died over in the corner by the mud machine, and they despawned instantly, <laughs> and I respawned right there. It was a whole thing. I was very spooked. I've never had that happen before. It was a very new thing. I had to ask the other people online, what was that about? <laughs> I hope you enjoyed uh, coming along on today's episode. <laughs> I hope my uh, deep dark scare gave you entertainment anyways. We didn't make it to making a shulker farm in this episode, but don't worry. We'll get there probably in the next episode, though I have some other things too that like... I just have so many projects I want to work on. It's fine. And then... You know, I have so many technical projects, and then I also have so many building projects. Like, I want to get this area, this village area around my portal fixed up and ready to go. Like, ugh. I want to build a actual, like, nice portal entrance on the nether roof. So many things. So many things. Anyways. I hope you all had a good time. Thanks for coming along. If you enjoyed it, please do like the video. And if you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that button. Especially if you enjoy uh, watching people exist in confusion and chaos. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!